So the second step is to create the entity types, uh, which will fall in the folder data model. So there are different ways to do it. So if you right click on the data model and if you see create, so you can create in entity type entity set individually. And there's also option to import it from the DDIC structure or some data model for file or RFC board. So in real projects, you will be using these two options very often. So let me use the first option. We'll import it from some structures. So I click here. So you want to give a name to your entity type. So I'll say billing bill header. So I'm using a camel case just for the sake of using it. So it helps me, gives me better readability. So bill header. I'm not using underscore. And where will I get this from? So I'll, I'll take it from the standard SAP table VBRK. You you might be knowing that VBRK is the table for billing orders. Um, and then uh, if you see this checkbox, create default entity set. So what will happen is when you create entity type, it's like a structure. So if you check this checkbox, then it will also create the, uh, the uh, entity set with the same type. And it will add a set under it so the, the name of the set will be bill header set okay let's see hit the next button so it's taking a while so it will show up the structure with brk fields now we need to decide which fields we want as per our project or as per our development need so whatever is the end requirement based on that we'll have to select the fields so we can select all or you can only what you need say for our project we need say billing document billing document para billing document category and another category and then we'll take the sales org and also we'll take some uh what do i say the I think this will be empty every time. So we will take just the fiscal year when it was created. So let's let's choose these fields. So if you hit next, so now you got the entity type. See the entity type is bill header, what we are defined, and these are the fields which will this entity type will have hold. So entity type is nothing but a structure. Now we need to tell what are the key fields. If you expand a little here, is key. So just like in tables, we have to give the primary keys here also you need to give a key so i'll say that the billing document number is the key and then i hit finish so we created the entity type and it gave us some warning so we can ignore it for now so if you look here and check this so see the bill header entity type is created and let us check the property so if you click here you'll see the property and vbln which is the billing doc is the key now i told you that the entity set would also get automatically created because we check the checkbox look at this place the bill header set is also created so this is the structure and this is the table you can say and if i double click here you say bill header set is of type bill header okay and you can see this um what you can say properties so you might need to play it as you uh, do more projects so you need to come here very often when you do the real project so you have to check this checkbox as and when needed so createable updatable deletable pageable all this all this you have to play around with it and let's see what has generated here so if you go to this look here something has generated so we have this service implementation earlier it was it was uh, empty now we have this five methods here so these are nothing but methods it's create delete get entity get entity set and update methods now let us create another entity tab which is a bill item so i'll just right click import tdi structure i'll say bill item and i'll give it structure vbrp and i'll give it checked and let's see what happens next like the header we need to now choose the fields which you want so we definitely want the billing doc header and item so this will be a primary key 
we might also want this high level then bill quantity sales unit and what do you want bill quantity sales unit do we have some material over here there should be a material all right we have a plant and do we have a matna yes we do so i'll take a matna and then i'll click next so here you see we chose the billing document number item then some other fields then billing quantity sales unit material and plant and i need to check the key like we did in the header so i'll choose the billing document and item as the keys and then hit finish so you see the message here you still have a warning again but just ignore it for now and then let's look into the properties i'll just close this and then bill item and now i click here i have this properties right so these are the two key which we selected and let's check the entity set for the correspond for this item so and if i double click here look here we have two sets now the bill header and bill item it is up type entity type bill header this is bill item and if you go to the service implementation i'll just block this so now bill header had this now again bill item will also have their corresponding methods so uh, when we want to update or read data from item we have to consume one of these methods means not one we have to consume this or this if you have to consume one item then we'll do get entity and if you have to consume multiple you have to do this similarly if you want to consume the header one then you have to use either of these two so we just did the second step that is we completed the creation of entity types and entity set